In this next part of the Kiwi Kai and the Extras tutorials, we're going to look at using a loop or a repeat um, function to make something happen over and over again. Now this is really important because if you want something to happen several times, you don't want to have to code that over and over again. So that's inefficient to have to repeat code. So we have something called a repeat block and if I hover over it you see we have repeat the next block three times. So you could have it repeat things with inside like the triangle so whole block or just the next um, the next step that you want it to do in the procedure. So I'm going to also add in here some comments because it is important to put in a comment so I'll add that above. And remember for your actual internal you need to use loops and you need to use good code commenting. So here, um, repeat the creation of the heart object three times. This will place the heart at um, a random location relative to the worm object. So again, instead of having to do that three times in a row, we'll just have it repeat three times. So what are we having it repeat three times? We are going to create a heart and we are going to create a heart at a random XY position relative to the worm object. So basically when the kiwi eats the worm he gets extra nutrition, extra lives, and this just will be symbolic of the fact that he's getting extra lives. Um, so we'll create that three times and we will also with the hard object itself when it's created we want it to begin moving or floating in a direction upwards so we've got the up arrow um, so that it sort of floats off this is a similar thing to what they do for example in Mario um, and why do we have randomization there? So that all of the hearts aren't floating away at the same speed. So it floats up or moves up at a random speed of um, somewhere between 1 and 5. So I'll show you the effect of that. and I'll put it in full screen mode. We made that in the last tutorial. And when the kiwi collides with the worm, not only is the instance of the worm destroyed, but three instances, because we've had the loop repeat three times of the heart, um, three instances of the heart object are created relative to the kiwi or sorry, and relative to the worm, and they're at random locations, but somewhere near the worm, and then they start floating upwards. So if the kiwi gets another worm, do you see we have three random hearts floating at a random speed, just to create some interest. And We'll do one more for an example. So you see they're created at a random vicinity of the worm and moving at a random speed. So we'll look at the code again for that. First of all, um, I just created a heart sprite and um, those are that sprite, um, the picture for the sprite is available in the Dropbox and then created an object 
And on the create event for the heart, it moves again in a random, just moving up in a random at a random speed somewhere between one and five. So it's not all just moving at the same speed. And then back to the Kiwi, just adding to the worm collision. So before we had play a sound, destroy the instance of the worm, have the score go up, but now we're going to repeat this three times. Um, create the object heart, where to put it, at a random location um, of somewhere between 0 and 20 on the X axis and somewhere um, on random on the Y negative uh, 60 so somewhere between 0 and negative 60 on the Y and that will just put that in the vicinity if we click click relative in the vicinity of the worm so a 20 somewhere between 0 and 20 on its relative to its x and between 0 and negative 60. Now remember negative 60 is actually above the worm so that makes the, because y as it goes um, negative 60 um, amount that would mean it's getting closer to 0 and closer above it. And that's all there is to that. Um, highlighting in here using a code comment, very important for your internal, and using a loop. So, and loops also show efficiency because otherwise we would have to create that code three times in a row.